Well, there's no doubt there's a lot of brick in the Hamilton area. So, it, you know, you don't want to have to reface the entire house if you've got some brick crumbling away. There's a way to replace them, and that's exactly what Just Ask Bob is going to show you today. Hello, I'm Just Ask Bob. Welcome to our job site. Back again, but today we're laying brick. It's all about the mortar. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay, you want to have the mortar toothpaste consistency. There we go. Look at it stay up on its own. That's going to support the brick. Now you want to make sure that your mortar board is slightly damp. You don't want a hot baking dry board. It'll suck the moisture, the water right out of the mortar. So you want to use your trowel. You don't want too much on here. Put on as much as you can use within an hour. Mortar is generally good for several hours. Again, you can re-tamp it when you need to. Look at that. Beautiful consistency. We're ready. We've got our bricks and I want to take a moment to show off a beautiful tool. It's called Brick Tongs. Brick tongs are just fantastic for transporting up to 10 bricks at a time. You can take off the wing nut, you know, adjust it accordingly. Mortar's ready. Now this takes a bit of experience. You don't slop it everywhere. Flick of the wrist and it's in. You really don't want it all across the wall. You want a small bed of mortar, approximately half an inch to three quarters inches thick. You want to spread it down. Okay, now back buttering. In this case, you're not using the front of the trowel, you're using the back of the trowel, the tip. I'm gonna get a little bit on the tip. There we go. Grab our brick. Now, you wanna ride the top. There's a reason there's no mortar in there. You ride it right across. Now, you bang in a little bit. Wiggle it down. Eyeball it for angle. You don't want your brick twisted up. You don't want it twisted down. You want it level. Now the trick for filling in the top joint. If you recall, that's the joint that we left empty. Now you're going to make a pancake out of your mortar. You're going to flick, flick, flick. You want to clean off the edges. You want to pancake it down. Now we're going to slick it into the cavity. You want to force that brick down a little bit. Look at that, it's like feeding pastry dough. In, in, and in. Now, you wanna keep pushing and pushing until it's completely full, all about penetration. You wanna slick it even. You're gonna let this set for a couple of hours. Then you're gonna use the raker. This is a masonry nail. You make the adjustment according to the joints that you have. And I shouldn't be doing this yet, it's wet, but just to give you an idea. That's what creates a beautiful joint. But you have to adjust the nail to have your joints the same. I am Just Ask Bob. Thank you for tuning in. Want to see this again? Visit my website. Watch every Monday on Hamilton Life. And please call or email if you have any questions at all.